Hello, I'm Didders here and today I got a let's build video for you. Today I'm gonna show you when I'm building a Victorian house, more like a, kinda like a mansion. You will see everything in like real time, no sped up or no cutouts or anything. Just to show you how I build and my thoughts when I build. So. Let's start off with a foundation. I usually do just one big square one because I never have a plan when I start building a house. I just do something like this and build a house first and then I think about how to make the foundation. So usually I'm just starting in one corner and this would be a Victorian house, so we just start. Something like this. Something you need to think about when you do Victorian, at least I think you should think about this, that Victorian houses usually have a lot of things going on. You cannot really overdo a Victorian house. And of course, Victorian houses needs it needs towers or turrets or whatever it's called. So I usually make a lot of those on my Victorian houses. So we're starting off simple, just making the shape of the house. I don't really know how it should look. I don't have a plan, as I said earlier, I'm just doing something which I hope will be good in the end. Here I think I will have the entrance. And here we have the back side, the back side should have like a big deck or something I think. You should never be afraid to try out new things when you're building a house. Just do something random. One more thing, I never have a plan on uh, the inside as well. I'm doing that the last thing I do in my houses. I think here we will have a big tower. that so let's see there's the back side of it uh, I have no idea how this will turn out but I hope it will turn out good. Uh, I might change the tree if it will start clipping in the house. I do not like when trees clip into the house. It, it just annoys me quite a lot actually. Here we will have a other tower or something like that and the outer roof will go off I hate outer roof especially when you're building Victorian houses because they usually have very complex roofs so you don't really want outer roof on so here is the well the beginning of the house. Uh, I will not start doing the inside now because I will probably uh, decide on that later on. Let's just get rid of some of these. I'm not sure yet if I should have like a cellar anything like that that also stuff I decide on later when I'm 
doing the inside even though it can be good doing that before because once the house is made and you want to have a cellar it can be really complicated building one depending on how the house looks so yeah but I'm I'm kind of like a rebel I do it my own way even though it's not that good most of the time let's see that, 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 that. Let's see here. It's not much left to remove. I'm. I'm actually thinking I will keep the foundation outside of here. Maybe I can do something cool. Maybe I remove it later. I'm not. I haven't decided yet. The good thing about the Sims, you can always, you can make it the way you want. And if you don't know what you want, then you can always try out until you are happy with it. So let's see. It's a very big house. I don't know how many floors I will have. Maybe even up to three floors. Probably. Okay, so I haven't missed anything now. Maybe I will round, make this corner round. Because it looks better that way. The same here. Like that. Now we have the big foundation here. Let's see. We need to go up one floor to make what we want to. I just need to check this out. I haven't actually never used this, so I don't know how they look. would actually make a pretty good deck but no not now and that one looks way too manly okay so second floor I usually do this all floors because I don't know why really but I think it looks good over here I think I would do that because my thought here was to place kind of like some what are they called? columns pillars that looks good here but I don't know which one will do I want one that looks kind of uh, Victorian Victorian is the right word. I think this might actually do like that. That can work. Maybe I should have them in the corner. Let's have them in the corner. For that, we need to sheet. Move up. Yeah. Oh. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. And then we go down. Place some here. If you wonder why, it's because it looks better once we go up a floor. There. And you should really be there. As you see, now it looks like it goes the whole way, and I think that looks good, so let's have it that way. Next thing we need to do is, well, the second floor basically. 
I was thinking I should do something like this again. I'm not really sure. Maybe I can do don't see them on this floor. Now you do. So, well, let's try that out. Here, I'm thinking about getting a tower, but no. Here, we just do this again. Here, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe do something like something like this, 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 this. That can work. That can work. That can work. Let's see. thinking probably was thinking about making a roof here so we're gonna build like this now we can place our roof it goes out there a little bit try something out see if it looks good so we have this roof That 
that works for me. Now on this roof, because it's quite a big house and you don't want it to go way too high up, so here I'm actually gonna make the roof. We're gonna do this, bar one from there. Here we want the roof to start, but it will not be all roof. Here will be a tower, because that will look good. Uh, here will be a tower too. Even though most of these towers won't be used, it makes it look at least better, I think. And that's what it's all about making the house look good and we will do that we will take that and lower it it looks like it almost crashes there and I don't like that so I will remove this for now and I will try this one instead, like that. That works. That works quite good, I think. Now, let's see. Here we have more towers. All towers will go up. One or two more floors, because that will look good. houses usually do have complex roof which I said um, that's basically one of the most hard things to make in the sims it's the roof when you're building a house like this I might change this this roof a couple of times I don't know yet if I will be happy with it or not I will try making it look good so let's see here uh, we have uh, this time we'll go in here videos. 
this, but well, this one will go up one more, and I think this one will. These two will go up to a fourth, or actually, it's counted as a fifth because of the foundation, but it's okay. So, here we will use the octagonal roof because they look best. I do that, I do that, 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 and that. I usually raise them up really far because they're kinda gonna look like the castle towers everywhere. Let's see how this will look in the end, maybe. Looks really why does that one look so big? Well I'm thinking I will actually add some details to this roof because it looks quite empty, so I'm thinking about something like this. I want to make it look less empty. These are just for show. Let's see. We'll place some on this side as well. We should let them go all the way in. Perfect. I don't know why it does that. I 
so perfect. It was perfect. I saw it. It was perfect. This is something I really do hate. The roof. It's like one of the hardest thing to do good. I think. No, that just looks weird. How about that? Perfect. And now it looks better there. Just the way I want it. Now this is what we would build on. This is the house. I think it actually came out pretty well. So this will be the first episode. The house itself. In next episode, I guess we will go doing details on the house and uh, wallpapers. So I hope you will, I will see you then. Have a good day. Goodbye.